Hey everybody, it's Daisy. Um, I'm getting ready to do another Risen Seascape thing and I'm gonna do this one a little different. I'm not using the sand. Uh, I usually use real sand to make up the bottom part and this time I decided to make the bottom part out of resin. I just make the whole thing resin. So I'm gonna just do, um, at this point, um, the ocean part and some of the waves that are in the ocean and then i'll come back and do the sand and the wave that goes along the sand so this is some no con blue um from uh it's made by eye candy and um i think it's one of the most beautiful dark blues that you can get i think it's just gorgeous and i like to have that for my deep ocean part. Um, this wood round, this is a birch round from uh, Lowe's. You can get them for like $8 or something. They're pretty cheap. Um, and it has been sanded real good. And um, I like to cover those edges. Um, it's been sanded real good and it's been sealed. Um, that's critical. You have to do that um, with polycrylic. You have to seal it with something. You don't have to seal it with polycrylic, but you have to seal it with something. Otherwise, there are chemicals in that wood that will react with your resin, and um, you get some untoward effects. Let me put it that way. Um, I've had uh, a strange bubbling um, that won't stop no matter how many times you torch it. Um, I've had, well, that's the main thing. Um, but that's enough of a thing, um, you know, to make you not want, uh, to have that happen. I want some of that blue to come down into the green. And I'm going to use my, um, heat gun also in a minute uh i'm just guarding against it all running off the end because my table is so slanted i have to be careful um that other color is just some liquitex uh phthalo green um i couldn't find i have a a good uh green pigment somewhere but i couldn't locate it so i like uh, that phthalo green color Anyway, so I just went with that. This is beautiful. It is Black Diamond Lux Turquoise. And I think it's just gorgeous. Bring some of that down. Mix some of that in. Okay. I'll go over those edges again. Um just with my fingers um, because I like if I can to have the edges covered with resin um, and to not have to sand them down and paint them um, I can do that and I've had to do that on occasion but I much prefer for the resin to cover the um, edges for me I do put a little silicone in my resin um, just a little, um, I haven't been using Resi Blast anymore. I used to use Resi Blast quite often, but I don't anymore. Um, it's expensive and silicone works just about as well. So I just haven't bought any more. I mean, it's like 30 something dollars for that little jar. That's pretty crazy. Um, I mean, for these pieces... On a on another resin piece, I might um, really want to have some resi blast. I do think it helps, but uh, do I think it helps worth thirty something dollars? I don't know because I think you can get pretty much the same effect just using some um, silicone. Uh, I don't think you have to have it necessarily. Uh, I, like I said, I do think it helps sometimes, but I'm not so sold on it that I'm going to buy some more. Okay, 
Now, I'm kind of liking that. I'll get the heat gun and we'll move it around a little bit. Um, and then we'll work on the uh, putting the waves in. Uh, Come on now. Come on, tangled up down here. Tying a big ass knot. Uh oh, I already dug it in there. I do that every time. This is all tied up. I gotta untangle this mess down here real quick. Sorry. Um. I don't have enough cord. This might just take me a second. I haven't used my heat gun in a really long time. And it got all tangled up down there. Alright, now we're set. Now I've got a couple of drops that drips on my sand area. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to cover them over. Um, and I'm just mixing this in a little bit and swirling it up. I mean, I kind of like the swirl I already have, and I don't want it much more mixed than that. Um, what I did with my fingers. Um, I just want to kind of blend a little bit because the ocean is not real separated, you know what I mean? Um, I do want this, this end down here to be mostly that light colored uh, aquamarine color okay that's good I like that no uh -oh. all right now I hate those little places. Now what I'm going to do is put my waves in. And this is just, um, this time it's just white pigment. Um, it's actually an Arteza uh, pigment. Um, I sometimes will also use uh, a Lumite. Um, a Lumite white. Uh, but I'm I can't find that bottle. I don't know if I've thrown it away, if I'm out or what, but I couldn't find it. So, we're going with this. And I'm not going to put in the very front one yet, because the very front one I want to spill over um, into the sand. So, I'm not going to put it on until I get the sand there. I'll do it when I do the sand. But this, um, this laces out nicely, I think. I mean, it does a pretty job of selling up and lacing out and looking like a wave, I think. Um, it's running off. I have to really be careful or everything will run off. Um, this table has gotten so slanted that I have to really watch out. I don't want my waves to blend together. They can be close together.
Okay. Push that one back up a little bit. I'm not kind of down a little bit far. But that's pretty. I like that wispiness that it's got there. I'm gonna do a little of that down here. Just um, feather it out a little bit more. Same thing with the top, not much. Anywhere I see big patches of thick resin colorations, like big blobs of white, I want to put my heat gun in that and kind of break it up a little bit. I don't like that circle or that circle. Okay. Now, I'm going to go put this over there and let it. Um, uh -oh. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And I gotta get it something. That's I saw that little bump and it filled itself in earlier. Let me fill it in again. Okay. I might have to heat gun that because uh, it's not good. If I, I'm afraid that it won't self-level. It should, but... Okay. Now, that's good. Now, um, like I said, I'm going to take it... See, the sides are beautiful. They're covered over with the resin. That's pretty. Let me be sure the back is good. Oh, well, we got a little patch right here okay and that's good and that's all covered up pretty nicely nicely enough now um i am gonna take off my gloves uh i'm gonna go under this edge first and get anything that's hanging over because that gets rid of those big blobs that hang over that you have to sand off now, I'm going to give it a quick torch just because um, even though I use the heat gun on it, I just want to be sure that I don't have any air bubbles. I uh, thought I saw one over there. It doesn't hurt anything to torch it, and it can help you because you may have air bubbles that you don't see. And I heat gun pretty much everything, so it probably would have been fine, but... I just want to, you know, I just like to be sure. And, okay, so that's this video. Now, uh, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this run back down a little bit because it drifted. Um, what I'm going to do next time is put the sand in and put on the shells and the seaweed and all that kind of stuff. And sometimes I do that. Well, usually I make my sand out of real sand. I mix it with glue, and that's where the sand comes from. But uh, this time, I'm going to use resin, so I'm not sure if I'll try to put... I'll put the shells on top of the resin, but the seaweed may be a problem because it's going to want to stick all over the place. I don't, I don't know about that. We'll see. Because I have this stuff. It's really cool. It looks just like seaweed. It's moss that you get at Hobby Lobby, but it's stringy, and it looks just like seaweed. And that's what I'm going to use... But, um, I may, um, I may wait and, like, glue it on after the resin is cured. Just because that seaweed is going to want to go everywhere. And it may not want to go where I want it to. So, I don't know about that. We'll see. Um, but the next video I'll do on this will be when this um is cured tomorrow sometime and we'll put the sand in and go from there all right guys thanks for joining me i appreciate y'all being here uh check out any of my other videos if you're interested in painting or stained glass or resin or concrete sculpture or whatever just check them out 
And uh, I appreciate you being here. Stop by and leave me a comment. I love to hear from y'all. Have a great night.